Well, moving on, the government has admitted that it is facing serious challenges in controlling hate speech on social media platforms. The Permanent Secretary for Information and Communication, Dr. Bitange Ndemo, says some politicians and members of the civil society were taking advantage of the scenario and using social media to spread propaganda and hate speech. However, Ndemo says the government will not use an orthodox means to block the internet but has encouraged internet service providers providers to ensure each internet user has an internet protocol address to help curb cybercrime. Nemo at the same time said the government would not expel or gag foreign journalists but urged foreign media to exercise responsibility in their reporting. In order to check spread of hate messages through mobile phones, the government last year directed all mobile subscribers to be registered, failing which their lines would be blocked. And as the government released its scorecard, it would appear it gave short attention span to the internet. Our attempts this time to contain hate messaging uh, succeeded, but we underestimated the power of social media. Demo acknowledges the use of social media through Facebook and Twitter is now becoming a major source of disseminating hate speech and propaganda. This new development is making the government worried. We did not think that social media would be a problem that it is today. And it has gotten worse and worse, and uh, it's, it's attacking practically everybody in government, including the international journalists who are being threatened because they have not covered the story in the direction that pleases political party. The government is scratching its head as it seeks to control hate mongers abusing the internet. We are encouraging ISPs to ensure that every gadget in this country has a public IP address. Because if you look at the Western world, when they look around to see who, are, who, is, who is sending or who is uh, propagating the message of child pornography, that is what they use to arrest and it takes them a very short time. The government says the foreign media was free to report on Kenya after journalists have been accredited by the Department of Information. Foreign journalists were however urged to report responsibly. I had the little misfortune of dealing with my sister Nima uh, from CNN and uh, we had a very, very interesting discussion and a lovely cup of tea. But the next thing I knew I was being accused of uh, having arrested uh, a journalist. The Ministry of Information denied there were any rifts between it and the Media Council of Kenya with regard to issues of licenses to foreign journalists. For international journalists, we said that the government would continue to do the accreditation through the Department of Information. This is simply because there are other processes that go on when the accreditation is being done. Things like security check must be done because also immigration has to verify with the Department of Information before they issue the, the work permits or passes in the country. Patrick Amimo, KTN.